All praises you have about some of you have a side about some of the Uh look, see that's how they do you. You guys are um what you're doing is falling and it's um fuck up. Yeah, it's It's either 12 or 14. I think it is 12. 12 and 51, maybe something. I'm trying to go from there. She said, she said God's not an angry person now. He said God's angry to wicked every day. He doesn't like you. <laughs> you found, what was it? God, it's not the whole God, bro. Hey, let's read the scripture. Read it loud for us. Luke 12 and 51. It says, Suppose ye that I come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. Hey, so that's the one y'all call Jesus right there. He said he did not come to bring peace. He came to bring division. So when you say the Lord didn't come to divide, you're not telling the truth. You're lying. And you're speaking out of ignorance. And you don't know the scriptures. The scripture said the Lord came to bring division. That's a fact. What do you have on the earth? You got division. Everybody divided. That was the will of the Most High. This is uh, Torah 12 and 6. For the, uh, for the Most High hated sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly. Oh, because she also said that, uh, that she did an old Christian thing. God hates the sin, not the sinner. But the scriptures say the Most High hates the sinners. It says, and keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. Ooh, another one. <laughs> it literally says the Lord hates the sin and the sinner. Oh man, I just messed up. My Bible got jacked up. It's time for a new Bible. This is done. Look, it's all. Yeah. We actually use our Bible so they get ruined. Well, I got, well, Romans 9 and 13 says, as it is written, Jacob, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. I got another one too. But these are all basic scriptures. You know what I mean? People don't know the basics. But what about this? Uh, this is red letters. This is the Lord himself speaking. Well, let me read this. Revelation 2 and 14. But I have a few things against thee because thou hast dared them to hold the doctrine of uh, Balaam, which is Baal, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, which proves this word is for Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols and to commit fornication. So hast thou also them to hold the doctrine of Nicolotanes, which thing I hate. So the Most High said he hates that Nicolotain in the doctrine. He called out actual people and said he hated them by name. You know what I mean? I'm gonna say the Lord don't hate. That's madness. I got you. <laughs> I mean, the scriptures say, like you say, he hates a whole nation of people. He hates the Edomites. He hates two thirds. He hates two thirds of Israel. But it, yeah, that's the spirit of a woman, though. Uh, go ahead, read it. Here it goes. It's uh, Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 9. It says, For the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike faithful to God. Oh, right, that's fire. Hey, read that. Oh, you got it again. Read that again. Where's, where's that at? Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 9. It says, For the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike hateful unto God. Yes. Most high with that fucking. Most high hates sinners and the sin. I mean, why you got something called a lake of fire? Like the Lord said that he's going to bring fire to America. He's going he gonna to destroy Babylon. Hey, look, he said that all the. The fornicators and everybody gonna be burned up? Is that is that a, a show of love? Is that, is that him bringing everybody together? 
Because she said God wants, wants everybody to be united. But the Lord said he's finna kill a whole lot of people. So how is that unison? That the Lord fitting to kill most of the people. He gonna kill two thirds of Israel. You got a scripture? I, forget, man, I just had so many scriptures going through my head. Even in the even, even if the mind of a Christian, you know, a Christian would be hell. Let's say uh, if there was actual hell. The little yeah. officer, the little don't love the person. Yeah. Burns forever. Yeah, they claim they believe in heaven and hell. You die, you go to hell. If you're evil. Why would the Lord do that if He hates? If He loves everybody? That's stupid. Y'all dumb. Yeah, people don't even think it, man. First, this is Second Ezra's one and. One and five, one and four, and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Go thy way, and show my people their sinful deeds, and their children their wickedness, which they have done against me, that they may tell their children's children. And that's what we're doing. We teaching people so they can teach their people. You know? Yep. Because of the sins of their fathers are increased in them, for they have forgotten me and have offered unto strange gods. Am not I even he that brought them out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage? But they have provoked me unto wrath and despised my counsel. What the fuck does that sound like love for everybody, man? Stupid. Pull thou oh. off then the hair of thy head and cast all evil upon them. For they have not been obedient unto my law. And that's, listen, put, a, put thou oh, off then the hair of thy head and cast all evil upon them. For they have not been obedient to my Lord, but it is a rebellious people. Yeah, so he said the Lord gonna put evil on these people. Yeah, that's dumb. These people ain't thinking. It's just an example of what happens when the woman opens her mouth. You know, and one foolishness and one woman to the other is always different. They don't fucking talk to them. You know the woman that's always trying to come out trying to sound intelligent. You sound retarded as fuck, man. You sound what fucking retarded as fuck. Like that bitch of wine, wine them. Don't Juanita wine them. Her, I think that was her name. A black preacher, man. Coming out justifying homosexuality and transvestite and all that shit, man. Justifying it through the scripture. That bitch was punching the shit out of her, man. And all the men standing in the congregation, all the motherfuckers should have stood up and told that bitch to shut the fuck up, man. Get the hell up out of here. <laughs> Back in the ancient world, they would have stoned her ass. Damn right, man. Though they, she got tossed out the window like Jezebel. That's crazy. Those niggas be sitting down listening like that bitch is on fire, like she's full of wisdom, man. I hate this. I hate that shit. There's a black pop, popular black bitch here, man. Popular as a motherfucker. Can't remember her name though. Can't remember that whole thing. If you actually teach the scriptures, though, everybody gonna come against you. Man, you gotta actually worship the devil. Be a transsexual devil worshiper. And people will show you more love than uh, somebody who actually believes in the Bible. Because that's what's hot nowadays. What's hot is being a training and a devil worshiper. <laughs> being in some, you know what I mean? Yeah. Being in some weirdo shit. I know, this shit is cool. A little, little, little briskly. You know, a little wintry out here. All those snow flurries, you see them? It's probably the thing that's tearing up Chicago right now. It's probably Ooh, I feel sorry for them brothers in Chicago. Y'all some soldiers out there. And they go out there every week. And the brothers in Cleveland got a bad too, don't they? That's about that fucking Lake Erie. Woo! That'll get you, boy. Oh, look, I got this one. Can I read this one real quick? Uh, this is the love of head, the love of Jesus. Revelation uh, 19 and 11. And I saw, saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteous, righteousness he doth judge and make war. So the Lord love everybody, so he make war, right? His eyes were of a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written which no man knew but himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of the Most High. Man, he said his vestures and his clothes was dipped in blood. So that means he's killing all kind of people. And he said, 
people in the room and said, uh, love working no ill to his neighbor. Mm -hmm. so yep. you love somebody, you want to kill them. So obviously, we don't love these people you got to kill. Hey, that's true. That's right. They said his vesture is dipped in blood. That's a whole lot of love. A whole lot of love for that last episode. That's a whole lot of blood. A whole lot of blood. We're going to see it. We're going to heal them. We're going to look through and see it. we get that power to participate. That's going to be beautiful. Right, right. This vest is. But you don't never hear Pastor read the scriptures when the Lord said his vest is dipped in blood. Oh, what does the other scripture say uh, in Psalms? Is that Psalms 15 something? The, uh, we, shall, we shall wash our feet in the blood of the wicked. Let me see if I can find that. Oh, I got this Bible download. You the book of Enoch on it. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Do you think? Because yeah. okay. it gets so popular, everybody in that Enoch. <laughs> Bro brothers, but not brothers, but Jake always getting bugged out on the book of Enoch, you know? That's one of the first things book people run to when they fall out the truth. What about the book of Enoch? People, people don't even know the Bible. They run into the book of Enoch. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Psalm 68. This is talking about uh, uh, after uh, the Exodus. Not the Red Sea, but it says, uh, verse 23, it says, well, it's like a 22. It says, The Lord said, I will bring again from Bashan, I will bring my people again ah, shit. from the depths of the sea, that thy foot may be dipped in the blood of thy enemies. Whoo! Thy the foot shall be dipped in the blood of thy enemies. Whoo, that's fire. Where is that at? Psalm 68. Psalm 68. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, this whole song is talking about the trust of our enemies and the righteous for Jerusalem. You know what I'm saying? Uh, back to Psalm 68 and uh, 23. It says that thy foot may be dipped in the blood of thine enemies and the tongue of thy dogs in the same. They say dogs? Where is that watch? It is in Psalms 50 something, man. I can't remember where it's at. Ah, shit. Like last verse. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Maybe it was. I know it was 50 something. No, it was 58. Is it 58? I'll read it. So it was 58 and uh, 10. Actually, let me start a. Uh, actually, let me just read this whole chapter right quick. Is this really, you got something you want to bring out real quick though? No, that's not what All I right. got to with this. Okay. Because this is really going into, you know, the madness that these people are speaking. Uh, Psalms 58, one. Do you indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Do you judge uprightly, O sons of men? So that's what, the, you know, the Lord asking these people. Are they, they speaking righteously? Are they judging uprightly? When they say God love everybody, God don't, what do you say? They say the, uh, the most high does not hate the sinner. He hates the sin. That's madness. Ye in heart, ye work wickedness. You weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked are estranged for the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder to stop of the ear. Because these people come out with their own beliefs. Everything coming out of their mouth is poison. Speaking all this nonsense they speak is poison which will not hearken to the voice of charmers, charming never so wisely. Break their teeth out, O God, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord. And really, that's really talking about Esau, too, because he speaks the most wickedness. Let them melt away as waters which run continually. And because actually, you know, when these people, the madness they speak, they got that shit from Esau. You know what I mean? All they beliefs, they ain't get it from the scriptures. Yeah, philosophy. Yeah, that's the shit Esau taught. They, they, they learn from the world. Okay, look, for example, like the black consciousness, all that shit they teach is about Kemet, Egypt, that comes from the white man. They got that from Esau. Yeah. All them Egypt, Egyptologists was all fucking Edomites. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, they the one that did all the digs. It's that scripture. That's terrible. Yep. Oh, that's crazy. I'm to wrap this up.
Let them melt away as waters which run continually. When he bent in his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be as cut in pieces. As the snail which melteth, let every one of them pass away like the untimely birth of a woman that they may not see the sun. So these devils, they gonna melt away. Like, you know, you pour salt on a snail. <laughs> before, before your pots can fill the thorns, he shall take them away as with the whirlwind, both living and in his wrath. So the Lord will destroy these fools in his wrath. The righteous shall rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. So we're going to rejoice. Oh, that go, uh, what's that, Revelation 13? He that killeth with the sword shall be killed with the sword. He that leadeth in captivity shall go into captivity. That's the patience and the faith of the saints. So we're going to rejoice when we see the Lord's vengeance. We see all these fools get put to death. We see these Edomites get put to death. Patience in the faith, huh? Yeah, that's that patience. <laughs> So that a man shall say, Verily there is a reward for the righteous. Verily he is the power that judges in the earth. Oh, so that's a reward for the righteous is that we get to wash our feet in the blood of the wicked. That's a reward. And you know, most people want gold and silver as a reward. We want to wash our feet in the blood of the wicked. That's a better reward. That's right. This is Sharak 41.4. And why art thou against the pleasure of the Most High? There is no imposition in the grave whether thou have lived ten or a hundred or a thousand years. The children of sinners are abominable children. They're abominable. Yeah. Hey, well, hold up, hold up. Your girl said the Most High loves the sinners. That's right. They said the children of the sinners are abominable. Yeah. Yeah. And that's true. You see these sinners out here, people that don't follow the laws. Look at their little bastard children. Look at the way they act. Little demons. So the children the children of sinners are abundant children, and they that are conversant in the dwelling of the ungodly. Oh, right. I actually got to look into all these new rappers. You see how that's the children of these sinners. That's right. This new generation of rappers they got, a bunch of weirdos. Is that true? Six nines, dad is 50 cent. <laughs> that, he calls his son because he took him under his wing. Is that why? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because he's always calling him his son. I saw the video when he was saying call his mom. He didn't call his mom. Yeah, he said, don't call me. I don't want the feds on my phone. Yeah, because he, he was uh, showing him love because he was being an asshole like 50 Cent was when he came out. Yeah. Yeah. But yes, yeah, like, look at 6 9 That's a ch child of a sinner. Yeah, He's that whole thing, that thing, about that whole Yeah, it is. They got that fed cases on all these rappers. Yeah, another thing, they think Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, I think they probably going to end up killing each other, man. Oh, yeah. You know, let's get heated up more and more. Bitches fight. Yeah. All these rappers, they have bomb. Look at they a bunch yeah. of weirdos. Right. Right. Damn, they, they all gay as hell. Look at all these little emotional rap songs talking about they depressed and they got feelings and emotions. What the fuck was that cool? This a look at them. To them it's cool. Being an abominable is cool. You know what the scripture say? Evil is good, good is evil. Yeah, they turn everything upside down. Chaos. It says the inheritance of sinners' children shall perish, and their posterity shall have a perpetual reproach. Yep. The children will complain of the ungodly father, because they shall be reproached for his sake. Woe be unto you, ungodly men, which have forsaken the law of the most high power. For if ye increase, it shall be to your destruction. That's and fire right there. He said, one unto to you, you ungodly children. Ooh. Or what did it say? Is that what it said? Yeah. That's fire. That's right. Um, and if ye be born, ye shall be born to a curse. And if ye die, a curse shall be your portion. Uh, all oh, that shit. Earth, of the earth shall turn to earth again. So the ungodly shall go from a curse to destruction. Man, when, boy? Hey, what is that? still got to do the work. What's that, curse of destruction? I'll read it again. But you see my little, my little trash camera, bro. He's struggling over here. Still wobbling. She's hanging on. <laughs> She's hanging on. Hey, read that last part. That was far. Won't be unto you ungodly men, which have forsaken the law of the most high power. For if you increase, it shall be to your destruction. 
and if ye be born, ye shall be born to a curse, and if ye die, a curse shall be your portion. All that, all that are of the earth shall turn to earth again. So the ungodly shall go from a curse to destruction. They go from a curse to a destruction. These people right now, they already cursed. Look at them right here. Right. Everybody cursed. And they all gonna be, not all of them, but two thirds of Israel gonna be destroyed. A whole lot of, yeah, a whole lot of motherfuckers. <laughs> they gonna be destroyed. Hey, like you said, uh, I made a shit about it hit the fan anyway. Yeah, yes it is. Like what you were just talking about earlier, about that, how the Ukraine deal, right. how Russia just attacked them Ukrainian ships and confiscated them, and they declared martial law in Ukraine. Because when you declare martial law, that means war is about to go on. Martial means war. The United States is going to get involved in that. You know Trump would be ready to declare martial law. He can't wait. He can't wait for that day. When there's martial law, bro, they're going to lock this shit down out here. The United States, they're going to get involved in that. But they already involved in it. They was the one that was behind that Ukrainian, uh, remember when they had that civil war? Well, yeah. It was about, uh, it was about four years ago what's now. What's that? What's that? What y'all doing? Hey, y'all in the world? Oh, no, We've been out here. We've been out here. All right, y'all take it easy, man. Hey. He felt salty. No, he put it. I don't think he even said it. He tried to dab it. Oh, did he? He was salty. That dude is a clown. I was like, we ain't happy to see that guy. That's good. I didn't want to see him. They go Jared from Subway. He look just like he does. His ass in prison from child molestation. Yeah, that's some, like that. that's some fucked up shit. Right, fucking fucking weirdo. Right. Make you scared to go to eat a subway. Yeah. They found was a scam. Y'all, what's up? Good. Job 27, I'm sorry, 13 says, This is the portion of a wicked man. Oppression, was they shall receive of the Almighty. If the children be multiplied, it is for the sword. It's oh, if his children be multiplied, it's for the sword. I'm really talking about Esau and his children. Because they're talking about here yeah, oppressors. So the, you know what I mean? All their children, they're gonna they're gonna be destroyed. It's hey, too, because it's one in uh, Jeremiah where it says uh, the people talk speaking about Israel. Yeah, use oppression. Yeah, and Israel does oppress Israel. You're right. They try to get they we try to get the masteries over you. Yeah. Israel always scamming Israel, yeah. always pulling scams on each other. You got uh, pimps pimping out prostitutes, doing all kind of evil yeah. shit for each other. They really are. Israel good for using it and abusing Israel. Plus, back in the ancient world too, when we was in our own kingdom, Israel was running shit in their own kingdom. Just think of how wicked they was they was being. When we have money. Can you imagine how wicked Israel is when they got money? Yeah. It's not a step we have. It is right, yep. Fucking drug dealers. All these gang bangers. Yeah. My sister was millionaires, man. They were making the workers work six days a fucking week and shit. Oh, yeah, they're the ones that own their own businesses. Right, right. And underpaying them. You got Israelite landlords abusing the hell out of their tenants. They're slumlords. Says, and his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread. Those that remain of him shall be buried in death, and his widow shall not weep. He will heap up silver as the dust, and prepare a remnant as the clay. But the just shall put it on, and the innocent shall divide the silver. And, uh, that's the thing, that's what the scripture you just read. That, uh, he's going to be, he's going to have a curse, and he's going to die from destruction. That's Esau. He, gonna, he, gonna, he might have the world, but he really, he ain't really enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? He can't enjoy his riches. All that shit he building up is only going to give it to us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Esau got to watch his back, man. He got to watch his back. He don't trust nobody, can't trust himself. All this wickedness done, he's never got to watch his back. That's why he always got no security and shit. 
Hey, like, like that book of James say, woe to you rich men, you heaped up your uh, treasures for the last day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he says, verse 18, he good of his house, but he good is he good of his house as a moth, and as a as a booth that the keeper maketh. The rich man shall that one scripture says he shall build, but I shall tear down. Yup, Malachi. It says the rich man shall lie down, but he shall not be gathered. He openeth his eyes, but he is not. Terrors take hold of him as waters, and tempest stealeth him away in the night. A tempest stole him away in the night. That's a hell of a destruction, man. Hey, that's a tempest. Shit. It says, the east wind carried him away, and he departed. And as a storm hurled him out of his place, God shall cast him. You got lesson. I'm already, I'm already hit, man. I am a hero. Hebrew Israelite. Judah. Father. You know, you supposed you gotta be out here doing this work. You gotta be about the father's business. I do. I don't drink. I don't do nothing. I should I should be out here with us. With y'all. We commanded to come out here and see. Yeah. What days y'all come out here? Uh we out here on Mondays every week. Monday? Yeah. Plus, and during the week, we making videos up, but we got, you know, different sites, you know what I mean? I work part-time, so I'm off work two o'clock. I had a stroke, so that's why I talk different. But, right? Yeah, well, we, we commanded to come out here and do this work. Oh, it ain't me, it ain't John. It's the God that That's what I'm saying. That. And then... This is his work. This, this is his work, work, and it's... Yeah, right now. Yeah. I'll be watching... YouTube videos about all of that. And then you know already know my Bible, so. You know specifically which group you watch? Huh? You know specifically which group you watch? I see IUIC here. Yeah. Yeah, leave them motherfuckers alone. Don't watch them. What's the issue with them? Because they ain't gonna give you the full truth. I've been one, I've been like, I've been finding my own. That shit's dope. Not my own, but my, my Read between the lines. You know how shit? Like I said, I had, I had strokes. So I can't talk. I feel you, they're going for it. But, I get, I get what you're saying, because some stuff, like they be, they be leaving out. Right, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Like, like the name of the like Lord. Lord, Lord. It, it, it makes me more, more questions. That's right. More questions. Well, they Hold do on. that. That's a trick. Right. That's a trick they use. Yeah. You know, to keep people bored. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you gotta give people the whole, 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 whole thing. The whole goddamn thing, man. I got. I wish I had my Bible. I just got my mom. So I can teach my son too. I got a lot on a lot of stuff that's highlighted. Yeah. Deuteronomy. Right. And Acts. Right. Romans. Study, 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 yeah, study. And I'm trying to get him that. Right. I grew up in church, right. in the church, right. but he don't know God, right. like I do. Right. Right. So I'm trying to teach him the right way. Okay, so yeah. this way. stick with those. Only listen to Great Millstone for now. Okay. We're part of Great Millstone. Okay. okay. We're giving you everything, man. Like right. prophesying about that RFID chip that's okay. coming. Okay. Yeah. IUIC yeah. don't even want to talk about the it. The beast. Yeah. The beast. Yeah. yeah. They teach IUIC teach. Uh, you the image you is. Jizzeray Bourgier, you know? Let's go, bro. All right, man. We out here every Monday at the same time. Man. Monday? Yeah, every Monday. I'll see you on Monday. All right, man. All right. Okay. Yeah, I see you. There you go. All right. Oh, she was just curious about more of this, man, about the sign. Children of Israel. That's who the Lord is coming to say. He's coming to say only the children of Israel. Who? Only. That's what the scriptures me? say. You know? We all the children of Israel. Not everybody out here, but <laughs> you just Say garlic kills cancer. Yeah, that's what'll make you feel like. Right. Yeah, heard it say garlic kills cancer. Why just eat anything healthy? If you keep eating healthy, drink the water, you go, shit gonna go away. There you go. She ain't got no money to buy shit anymore. Nah. She just got afraid to get that pot in here. Yep. People can't afford to buy. Black. You ever heard of black seed oil? That shit is expensive. 
which is anti-cancer. It kills cancer cells in your body. I got cancer when I work three jobs. Yeah, people can't afford it. That's like that new Ohio uh, bill they're trying to pass. They, uh, they say if anybody get caught having an abortion, they can face a death penalty. Yeah. Did you hear about that? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, Lord willing. Unless, I mean, Lord willing, that's the plan. You can't make no guarantees. I don't know where I'm gonna be in the next five minutes. <laughs> the, the shit could break out right now, you know? A damn plane could fall out of the sky, crash into that building right there. Yeah, I don't know if this shit too. It's like fall, but it's going to have the tail on. You don't see that very thing. I don't know how we work, but I'm just back to the GCS 39. And, uh, Start at 24 as, as his ways are plain unto the whole, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. For the good are good things created from the wicked, so evil things for the sinner. Yeah, because a lot of things are stumbling blocks for people. Like, we tell them something so simple that the Lord only came for Israel. That stumble and fall right over there. Ah, I can't take if you say the Most High hates people, don't fall over that, break their, you know, yep. split their eye open, crack their head. Principal things for the whole use of man's life are water, fire, iron, and salt, and flour, of wheat, honey, milk, and blood of grapes, and oil, and clothing. All these things are good for the God. So the, to the sinners, they are turned into evil. Um, they, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on a sore stroke. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for them. Taste of wild beasts and scorpions. The wild beasts. Serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked and destruction. Come on, so. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon the earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. Therefore, from the beginning, I was resolved and thought upon these things and have left them in right. All the works of the Lord are good, and he will give every needful thing in due season. Everything in due season. That's it on that. That's a good scripture though. Like, go, man, that's cover so much. Yeah, they yeah. talking about those beasts. You mean, hey, the Lord can send a wild beast after your ass, man. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Crazy ass uh, uh, <laughs> pack of wild pit bulls to yeah, get your ass right, walking yeah. down the street. Yeah. It's coming. The Lord gets you in all kind of ways that you're not ready for. You thought you was having it. Here you out here being all wicked, and then you think you're just going to walk down the street like it's a normal day. And out of nowhere, a motherfucking bird could come out of the sky and fucking bite your damn nose off. Or something crazy could happen. I mean, the Lord is crazy. Yeah, a rat, yeah, a crazy big ass rat or fucking anything. A, a, a horse could come and fucking kick you. You know what I mean? A cop or anything bugged out can happen to you. you Fucking Coda bus could hit the curb and run oh, your ass over. I saw the video that a beaver, a beaver killed a man. I, I heard, heard about the beavers. About yeah, yeah, the beavers go crazy. Yeah, I was like, whoa, a beaver. And the man wasn't even water, man. He was on the land. Fucking beavers ain't playing. Right, a beaver. <laughs> they got some, you know, I know a beaver can, uh, I was looking into it. They can chop your arm straight off. I know, I know. Cause they, they're designed for chopping tree trunks. <laughs> yeah. they, they can cut. I, I think I we, we read a story on that years ago. I think how a beaver bit a motherfucker's arm off or something. Look at alligator or a one of two can break your head off. Yeah, the people live down in Florida, bro. You out there being wicked. Your little baby outside playing. An alligator come up and eat his little ass. Shit, man. Fucking zoo. We got one. Oh yeah, the zoo. Yeah. 
Hey, at the aquarium in Cincinnati, that alligator is the biggest alligator. Man, that motherfucker is young. Man, they get you and they twist. They rip, they twist and rip you. I ain't fucking man. no gators. Right. It's a horrible way to die. That motherfucker start twisting your legs. They had one of them on the faces of death. Remember the faces of death? Yeah. Motherfucker parachuted right into an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how did, what's the chance that you go parachute into an alligator? Right. That's some angels guiding right there. What about that video you showed us? The motherfucker just fell out of the sky. Oh, no. Oh. What the fuck was that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was exciting. Yeah, right. That angel could just pick your ass up, take your ass up, just drop your ass. Right, right. Can you imagine a horror man something just grab you up that high man? Shit, you wanna know what the fuck, man. I'll say, yeah, that's the faces of death. Yeah, that's horrible. There's, there's endless ways to get killed. And the most high could get you when you least expect it. Yeah, you know? Yeah. All, nobody knows when they're going to die. Nobody gets to choose their time to die. That's the most high chooses that. Like, like Diddy's ex-wife. <laughs> Young and beautiful. Drop fucking dead. Who is that? P. Diddy's ex-wife. Really? The model bitch, that black ass, the one he got the kids with. Yeah. She died, man, like two weeks ago. For real? Yeah. I didn't even hear about that the one. Fuck dead, man. Hey, that's good for her. Yeah, they, they, they just had the funeral, I think, over this weekend. Rich and on top of the world, man, on top of the world, man, just dropped fucking dead. He was probably crying about yeah. it. Yeah. The bitch, all she had with cough was a common, was a cold or, you know, or the flu or something, man. She probably had AIDS or something, you know? Yeah, oh shit, you got you get cold, you got age, you, you gone. And she was just about to release this book talking about Big Diddy and Little Boys and shit. Yeah, he's a big faggot. Oh, they cried, killed the bitch. Hey, did Diddy known for putting hits on people? <laughs> Wouldn't doubt it. Wouldn't yeah, everybody doubt says it. he was behind that Biggie, uh, yeah. Biggie getting killed. Yeah. Yeah. Something, you know? I know there was a first attempt with the motherfuckers on Fox like the first time. Yep. You know? They just trying to kick you up. Our people are fucking bloodthirsty demons. Cause he, uh, uh, Diddy's a Freemason. He went to Howard yeah. University and all that. Fag. He's in the for us uh, fraternities. Fag. Yeah, he's a big time faggot. I like you have a lot of the people in the mu music is industry and part of the fraternities. The higher up, we already well y'all know. I'm talking yeah. to the camera. Mother, Oprah Ripley dead. Who? Uh, mother of Oprah Ripley. Oprah? I didn't know she had a mother. Man, oh, shit, the shit. That's like yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> for real. <laughs> For real. That's an evil bitch, right? Goddamn Oprah. That bitch is evil. Yeah, she evil. Evil bitch. She look like a she look like a voodoo witch doctor. Yeah. I remember she came out and said you don't need the Lord, man, to get delivered and saved. And somebody in the in the audience cussed her ass Not out. Her ass, yeah. She's like, man, bitch, you crazy. <laughs> Right, right. She's right. like, he said he's the way, the truth, and the life. Ain't that crazy? Nobody comes to a father but by me. Mm. Evil bitch. Evil bitch. Uh, it's uh, Jeremiah 15 1. It says, Then said you how one to me. But Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass, so they said unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith Yahweh, such as are for death to death, and such are as for the sword to the sword, and such are as for the famine to the famine, and such are as for the captivity to captivity. Now appoint over them what kind, saith Yahweh, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. Yeah, because the animals are angry too. The Lord put the spirit on the animals. They're oppressed too. Yeah, they're, they're oppressed. They're oppressed. Man, they're taking in mad money, man. Ever since that shit started, motherfucking shit's coming near to ex ex extinction. <laughs> shit. Yeah, pretty much. You know, you see that they, they be raising lions and shit let loose so they can go hunt and kill the motherfucker. I just seen something that they just, uh, some rare, what was that it? A beautiful white rare, lion. Was that it? Somebody uh, auctioned it off just so they can go kill so it. Just so they can go. That's why a goddamn devil would do that. Yeah, we gonna, we gonna hunt Edomites in the yeah. kingdom. Yeah. We're going to let them loose. We're going like, to give y'all, what, a couple minute head start? That's going to be fun for us. We're going to have a game. Yeah, we're going to have our little safari hats on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yep. 
They go, shit, we're going to do like the running man on their ass. We're in the running man? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't yeah. it something like that? They had to survive? Yeah, something? yeah. That was sweet. Yeah, that was that a badass bad move. You know, they sent out Jesse Ventura was one of the killers. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. For real, that's going to be real, man. They had a comedy on one, too. Um, that, uh, that Puerto Rican... The Pest. Oh, The Pest. That's a good movie. The uh, uh Funny as fuck. Motherfucking John... Uh, uh, Leguizamo. Yeah. Like, yeah, the oh. pest, so that was a good movie. Yeah. Because, yeah, that shit's real, though. Yeah. That's based on real life. They actually hunt people like that right now. Yeah. 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 And your ass got to go out there and survive. But we're going to do that to Esau and the yeah, king. Right. Bro, we're going to... Damn, your shit went crazy. Yeah, it's just fault, bro. <laughs> oh, I was about to say. Shit worked. Oh, shit, I thought it was the actual video. <laughs> shit, open up a portal. But yeah, I mean, when that scripture said we got heart gonna meditate terror, we're gonna figure out creative ways to kill the Edomites in the kingdom. Baby throwing kind but fuck horseshoes, we playing with Edomite babies. That's what I like watching like superhero movies and anime and shit. Because they show you like they show you different ways to kill them off of the superpowers and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's some creative that shit. Yeah, they really do saying. get creative with that and shit. It, like, a lot of this shit be based off like actual science and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like electricity, whatever. They can touch somebody and cause somebody to have a heart attack. You know what I'm oh, yeah. It was like, uh, we be like raiding. We're going to have powers. We'll be able to do that shit. Yeah, there's something behind that uh, spontaneous combustion shit, too. Oh, yeah, motherfuckers do just blow up out of nowhere. <laughs> that shit is real. Just mind their business and poof. Just pow. Hey, that's most hot. There goes another death for you. Yep. Spon your most hot can spontaneously combust your that's ass. That's crazy, though, man. That's just mind boggling. But, yeah, it's real. Shit. Wait, look at the most hot. What did he do to Hayrod? Remember, uh, didn't he die of a... Uh, oh. Ain't that a description? Uh -huh. About how he uh, got uh, some kind of disease. And he just shit himself to death. There's several people that shit themselves to death. Well, a lot of people do shit themselves to death. Hayrock got all kind of sores and shit. Damn, Hayrock, Hayrock, damn. Yeah, it is like an angel down. But he got he got infected with all kind of sores and boils. I mean, he might have had some shit problems too. Oh, did your boy in the Apocrypha, the most high hit him with that? He stunk real bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, stunk as shit. That proud motherfucker. One story was the, uh, when uh, I think it was the Philistine, they stole the Ark of the Covenant. Lord gave him a uh, life. Yeah. 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 They shoot themselves to death. Yeah. <laughs> they shoot their intestines and everything out, man. They just couldn't stop shit. Everything went in and went straight out. We had one fat motherfucker, too. What was that in the book of Judges? Look, got fucked up. You remember what I'm talking about? Uh, wait, uh, and he stuck the knife in his belly yeah, and it went all the way in. Left it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it stuck in. But did, didn't he, like, all of his guts shitted out or something? His guts <laughs> fell out or something? You know, when you be high, when you um, are diarrhea, you, you, all your liquids come out. Yeah. You become dehydrated, man. You know? The motherfuckers just shit, they just shrivel up. Damn. I That's got a horrible way to die. A horrible way to die. You just shit yourself. Shit yeah. yourself to death. That's crazy, man. That's fucking crazy. This thing, when they see the Lord and the angels coming out to the heavens, they're going to be they shitting shit them. They're going to, like, legit shit themselves. For real. Some good weather out right here. Oh shit! I'm looking for it. Looking for that judges. Yeah. It's been a minute since I read that one, man. I need to go back through the judges. I was heavy into it. I can't remember where that was. I remember he went up to the room or something, locked the door or something, and stuck his ass. Uh, oh, I know my hands went out on. Me. I would have gloves on too. Yeah, it's uh, Judges 3, and uh, I'm going to start at 7, we start at uh, 15. This is the one of the many uh, ways the most high can fuck you up. So, we start at 14. It says, so the children of Israel served Eglon, the king of Moab, 18 years. So, oh, my fault. Go ahead. So this is Moabite, right? 
It says, but when the children of Israel cried unto Yahweh, Yahweh raised them up and delivered Ahab, Ahab, I don't know if that's that right. Ahab, the son of Gerald, a Benjamite, a man left-handed, and by him the children of Israel set a present unto Eglon, the king of Moab, but Ahab made him a dagger which had two edges of a cubit limb, and he did gird it under his remnant uh, upon his right thigh, and he brought the present unto Eglon, the king of Moab, Eglon was a very fat man. He was a very fat man. He had Good. made an end to offer the present. He sent away the people that bear the present, and he himself turned again after the quarters that there were by Dago, and said, I have a secret errand unto the old king, who said, keep silence, and all that stood by him went out from him. And Ahad came unto him, and he was sitting in the summer father, which he had for himself alone, and Ahad said, I have a message from God unto thee, and he rose out of the sea. Oh, he said he got a message from, from the Most High to you. That's a message from the Most High. I got a message for you, bro. <laughs> and Ahad put it forth his left hand and took the dagger from his right thigh. That was, that's cold. He said, I got a message. That's some, you know what I mean? That's, that's harder than some gangster shit. He said, I got a message from the Most High for you. Go ahead. He says, and thirsted, and thirsted into his belly, and the half also went, uh, and went in after the blade, and the fat closed upon the blade so that he could not draw the dagger out of his belly. Your boy is like uh, Majin Buu or something. He's uh, so fat, he, the, 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 the blade went all up in his fucking big fat belly. <laughs> it says, and the dirt came out. And Ahab went from uh, through the porch and shut the doors of the parlor upon him and locked them. Yeah, locked his ass in there. And it said something came out though? What is yeah, it? the dirt came out. The dirt? That word. Yeah, look that up. I think we did look that up or something. That, that was a good scripture though. I have I have we ain't read that I haven't read that one personally in a minute. That's good to hear them every once in a while. He said I got a message from the I got a message for the most high for you, bro. Pulled out a dagger, just killed his ass. Damn. Man, that's cold right there. I got a message from the most high. That is crazy. I mean, that's a hard, that go harder than some gangster shit. That's like a classic line right there. That's what say hello to my little friend. That's better than that. Yeah. Hey, I got a message from both sides. He just stabbed his ass. Message from the hour. This is Second Maccabees three and twenty four. Now, as he was there, present himself with his guard about the treasure. This Lord. Of spirits and the prince of all power caused a great apparition Ooh. so that all that presumed to come in with him were astonished at the power of the most high and fainted and were so afraid for there appeared unto them an horse with a terrible rider upon him and adorned with a very fair covering and he ran fiercely and smote off Heliodorus with his forefeet and it seemed that he that sat upon the horse had complete harness of gold. Yeah, that's talking about that angel. That angel came down and was killing. Complete gold. Complete gold. Moreover. Ah, shit, I gotta change this, my battery. This ring is fucking up. I love. I gotta hurry up and change this before it fucks up my files. Damn. 